Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. Today we're going to do a bit, something a bit different than what we've been doing so far. Uh, since we have been uh, dabbling in the main quest for quite some time now, I'm going to take a break from the, the heist research uh, to get suited up. So today we're going to do the scavenger hunt mission for the Griffin School gear, the armor and the swords. So therefore we traveled to the Dragon Slayer Grotto and we're going to enter this lovely place and try to find out where these diagrams are. So outside we can already see the sign of the Griffin. I want to look around some. And we already see some rates. Which are pretty easily dealt with. So, let's delve a bit deeper into these caves now, shall we? Okay. So since it's pitch black in here, I'm gonna drink a cat potion, because otherwise we're gonna be here a while. There we go, that's a lot better. Now, seems to be a hole in the wall we're right here. Okay, poisoned, poisoned, poisoned. See that? Okay. Don't get surprised by these guys. It's a poison mist. We've got the signs for that. To get through here. Okay. What? I'm gonna try and get out of here before the smoke comes back and let the wraith come to me. Okay, something dropped down. Where the hell did that thing come from? And suddenly we have a deadly lesion on the, at, our, at our hands. Which I can't apparently damage. Where the hell did this thing come from? Okay, this is gonna suck. Can't seem to damage this thing a lot. Holy shit. Okay! Luckily the thing was almost dead. And it appeared 
they have dropped from the ceiling. Holy shit, never seen that before. Let's make our way through these tunnels quickly. Okay, and then we get a vampire. Of course, oh, of course. So let's save quickly in between this, because I don't want to die by that fucking vampire. Or should I say Echimera? Although this guy doesn't like fire damage, he won't get burned. And there we go, Akimara. A type of vampire, yeah. So we've got a legend, a bunch of raids, and a vampire. Great. This better be fucking worth it. So according to the map, there's another enemy here. Ooh, and there we have one, two, three, four of the six diagrams. Maybe we can find the rest here as well. But it's a nice start. Okay. So we need to read George notes. George's notes. Having heard rumors of a dragon, I raced at full speed to Valen. Sadly, I was dragged away from my hunt by the prefects of course Valen. They summoned me as an expert to solve the riddle of a string of shipwrecks suspected to be the work of night raids. <laughs> Seems a dragon ravaging the countryside is a lower priority than blocked trade routes. Luckily I was able to solve the riddle of the lone lighthouse quickly and raced off after the dragon. I learned that the peasants from the ravaged villages had taken shelter in the elven catacombs under Lake Windermere. Wise. Yet they were not wise enough to bring firewood, and so warmed themselves by burning elven manuscripts. It aches my heart to think that what knowledge about the elder folk went up in those flames. At least a few of those manuscripts survived, including some highly interesting sketches of armor, the ones we found. Yet enough about that. Eyewitnesses have reported ashen scales, height at haunches 2 fathoms, length 5 fathoms, addendum estimated weight approximately 14 quintals, able to maintain a high temperature in its bellows, dragon lungs, for longer than a quarter hour. Conclusion, we are dealing with a green dragon. Commencing hunt. So the Witcher... George accidentally came across those uh, armor diagrams. While he was researching a dragon. So we now have two extra markers. We have the runes of the fortress by the lighthouse. Which were described in the, uh, in the document. Nahal in his eye. How to use it. Another illusion. And then we have the lord's castle. Where we hopefully will find the last missing piece. There is a red shiny carcass here, but I can't seem to interact with it. So, we'll first uh, try to find another fast travel point. So, see you in a minute. Okay. So apparently the village of Down Warren, which we uh, kind of ransacked because of those, uh, the black horse we freed. He's kind of run over by rates. I'm gonna quickly need to dispatch those.
So now we can fast travel away again. So let's see. They're both quite a ways off. But I'll first head towards the castle, I think. Yeah. And I'll use the horse to get there. So, and then we arrive at the castle, which is apparently overrun by Andrega. And it's apparently not the only one. There go the ugly spider thingies. They are amazingly animated. By the way. There we go. Solve them for now, apparently. And inside, there doesn't seem to be much left of the castle. We find a few chests. The carcass of a horse that's probably been eaten by uh, those in Draga. And a note. Let's check it out. The book is burned, only a few pages are still intact. Ivis? Ivis Mavella. Okay, yeah, uh, it's Alvin. I'm not gonna be able to uh, read that. I know a few words from the books, but that's all. Won't be able to translate an entire text now. Shall I? Okay. More Andrega? Seem to be going higher up the tower. Oh, harpies. Okay. So, tactic with harpies is still the same as the first time we fought them. I have to try to uh, get them out of the air. And execute them like this. Goes the last one. Holy oh, crap. Okay, so harpies. That wasn't the last one, apparently. And then it goes. Are there any more? A good bit of uh, alchemy materials. Now we'll have to take a look around. And there we have the diagram for the Griffin Steel Sword. There we go. Got two letters again. So first, Ballstick's letter, the letter that was on the corpse. May the gods smile on you and says, 
now I'm asking you to read this careful, for what I got to say is important. Soon as you set hands on this writing, gallop off to that fence Kramer, what's based in Maribor, tell him we've got some first class gear and witcher sword diagrams to sell. Aye, I can see you now, scratching your head, or more likely your ass, and asking, did I hear that right? You sure did, twas my luck to come to care for a witcher what got one foot in the grave and the other hovering right above. I was sat there looking at the poor man suffer in agony and thought to myself, he don't need this kit and these papers where he's going. Well for us, that's the fixings we need to, to get us started in the world of business. If you sell them for the right price, that is. Aye, I hear you fretting, so stop, I didn't take everything, in fact nobody will ever even realize aught of his shites missing. Sad though, ain't it? This witcher's a good man. First he helped the baronet solve the riddle of that lighthouse what was sending ships into the rocks, then he killed that dragon, ate all the peasants. Problem is, the dragon's no easy pickings and our valiant hero got quite the licking taking it out. He's done for, that's certain, so soon as they bury him in the tomb on Crookback Hills, I'll head straight to your place. Come to think of it, I'm curious how they'll put him in that crypt at all. For words is a vampire's made it his lair. Yes, I also lifted a few flasks of the Witcher. But since they're like not to survive the journey, reckon I'll sample them myself. See how Witcher Hooch goes down. Maybe we'll make a business out of that too. Your brother-in-law, a ballstick. So that's a little story hidden inside this letter, so uh, first of all they buried him at the tomb where we fought the vampire because we found that vampire hiding there and we found the uh, the other four diagrams and second of all in the PS he tells us that he tried drinking one of the, the witcher potions and as we know witcher potions are lethal to regular human beings so that's uh, the way the sad man died and then the confession of witcher George I, the undersigned George of Kagan, the Witcher by trade, testify as follows. While travelling through Valen, I received a summons to provide professional testimony in the matter of the accused Bartoslav of Lovefield. This Bartoslav stands accused of causing several shipwrecks near the lighthouse, which it is his duty to keep. Ships led astray by errant signals from his lighthouse have repeatedly smashed against rocks near the shore and the lighthouse keeper is held to be responsible for this state of affairs. During the trial, Bartoslav testified that he was diligent in the fulfillment of his duties and that the accidents were caused by night raids deceiving sailors with their false glow. Having investigated the area, I can testify that I have found no trace of night raid activity. There are likewise no signs of noon raids, mamunes, urnymph, urnymphs, or any other spectres in the habit of misleading wary travelers journeying by foot, sea or horse. I did however find the catastrophes, catastrophes says, true calls. They were not the fault of the night raids blamed by the accused, but neither were they the fault of the lighthouse keeper himself. The accidents were caused by local hooligans who have taken the light to lighting fires on the hills at night and then robbing the ships that subsequently wreck upon the shore. It was put on their trail by Bartoslav's son, who showed me the ashes from their misleading fires. My testimony shows that the lighthouse keeper Bartoslav of Lovefield is not guilty of the crimes of which he stands accused and should be freed. I also humbly ask for the bailiff to put the lighthouse keeper and his family under his protection, for in light of the revelations Bartoslav's son led me to discover, there will surely be certain parties which cause for vengeance. I cannot undertake the task protecting the family myself, the task of protecting the family myself, for I have accepted a contract to kill a dragon said to be lurking atop the Crookback Hills, and so must return there post haste, kill the beast and complete my task. Signed, George of Kagan, Witcher, transcribed by Vicenjo Stock, Marshal of the Royal Prefecture in Gors, Fallon. So, uh, now we know what happened at the lighthouse, which we still need to visit. We might uh, come across some clues over there as well. And um, we also know now that George was killed by the dragon, uh, died from his wounds and was uh, buried at the tomb where we found the first four diagrams. We can still get up here, get even higher I think. Keep climbing. I don't know if there is anything here. 
Okay, never mind. So let's head to that lighthouse. Our bees got their nest here. I forgot to destroy the monster nest. So this is uh, how you destroy a monster nest. Just put a bomb in it. And then you can loot whatever goodies there are inside. I think I can also add another potion to my uh, repertoire since we killed those Andregas. I can make another green mutagen. Thank you. No alcohol, but we can make a bomb. The enhanced devil's puffball needed this uh, Andrega heart that we found on one of those corpses. So there we go. Anything else? We might have unlocked a decoction. A water hack decoction. Don't know what caused me to be able to build that, but there we go. And the enhanced cursed oil can now be made as well. There we go. And I think that must be it. Oh no. Enhanced Thunderbolt. Ah, uh, that's where the Andrega um, embryos were coming in. That was the one I was looking for. Enhanced Thunderbolt. So even more enhanced attack power when we use that one. So there we go. Now I'll head to the, uh, the lighthouse to finish off the diagrams. So arriving at the lighthouse, we're kind of being harassed by uh, harpies. Poor harpies. And it seems like there's something bigger. There's a wyvern has landed as well. Although he's uh, a bit preoccupied by the horse. Go. Using a dragon screen form. To keep them off balance. And keep laying into him until he dies. So that's the wyvern dealt with, which uh, should be the only major threat around here. Don't fall off now. And now, as you can see, the bridge is not down, so the bridge is up. But we do need to get to there. The only way we can is by jumping into the water, which is kind of dangerous, so I'm gonna save. And then I'm gonna sprint and take a jump. There we go. Cool thing about this place, uh, besides the drowners you can see swimming around, is that there is also a place of power. Magic. So that means an extra ability point and a boost in Quen. So the entrance to the lighthouse, uh, I don't think we can even climb up here. Uh, there's a cave underneath this thing. So if you dive down east of the uh, the place of power, just a bit of the island, then you can find the entrance right beneath the place of power. It's really well hidden, but it is actually a cave. So we need to quickly swim through. Of course, we can, we could use the uh, killer whale potion to give us an edge over here, so we could. Uh, keep our breath a bit longer. That's not necessary for now. And the first chest already contains a lot of loot. And the Superior Devil's Puffball is one among them, so... Uh, great! If we move further into the cave, we can climb up to hopefully reach the... Uh, lighthouse up top. There we go. Meditated 
a bit so uh, my resources are stocked again. And then we'll make our way to the very top of the lighthouse. There's some very nice loot along the way so don't forget to loot everything you come across. What's in this chest? Yeah, light the place up. Not that I intended to do that, but hey, we can use this wheel to let the bridge down so we can easily return back to the mainland. And then we take the stairs up some more. We come to the little tower. Oh, don't stop doing that. There's way too many things in this game that uh, uses the X button. But once we get up every ladder, we find Dobromir's journal, and I think that is the name of the lighthouse keeper. That's chewing my head off about going to the lighthouse, about the fire needing tending. Thing is, don't give a plowing rat's ass, frankly. What am I, some golem fit for naught but climbing up here four times a day to drop off wood and pour oil? I'd much rather learn how to work a forge in town or at some gnomish foundry. Grandpa Amsbury was a smith, weren't he? Even forged witcher blades, so who's to say none of his talent trickled down to me? So there we go. A bit more loot over there, and we're overburdened apparently. So I'm gonna quickly drop some things. And there we go. It's funny, the first time I did this quest, I was also overburdened. And up top, we find uh, Mr. Doromir, or what was his name? Or Dobromir. That has been killed by the Wyvern, the Wyvern. So some more weapons, but we still haven't found the Witcher's gear. So that's the, the swords we dropped. So the last diagram is still missing. So next to the, the place we came out, there's a ladder to where the, the nest of the wyvern was and where the blacksmith practiced his trade. So we might be able to find something here. And there we have the last piece of the puzzle. And that of course completes it. Still overburdened again. I'm first gonna read those crafting notes. Now there's a commission I haven't seen the likes of in ages. Got a visit from that witcher the baronet summoned about them evil powers. Look over the lighthouse and we're crashing ships against the rocks. He stood there in the doorway to my forge looking noble as a prince or duke or something and said a silver sword got damaged during his last job. Blade was chipped bad, almost broken in two spots. I asked how he expected me to know how to fix a weapon like that and he gave me a diagram and said I was to forge him a new one. I promised quite the sum in return. Damn near tuckered myself out making that thing. I added my apprenticeship with Master Barnaby of Novigrad and have made a Witcher blade or two in my life, but it's been over three years since I last touched anything of the sort. In the end, it didn't matter though. Before I could finish, the Witcher figured, it, figured out what was going on with the lighthouse and had to make haste to the Baronet's castle for rest illegible. Because we know what happened after that. So that completes everything we didn't know already. So with all ingredients in hand, all we have to do now is get them to the correct craftsman. Uh, in this case we'll uh, head to Oxenford because they have both a blacksmith and an armorer. So I'll see you there in a second. Ah, I like Oxenford. It's a, uh, a nice little town. Nice little city. Uh, I think it's sad that we can't visit the academy even, but I love it. It's it's 
smaller than Novigrad, uh, evidently. But that's why I like it. Uh, you can get your head around where everything is really quickly. And it looks pretty. So let's first head to this armor. And let's see what he can do. Greetings again. So, you got a job for me, an interesting one. I think we have. You're in luck. I actually do have a special order for you. Oh, that's fantastic. Mark my words, you'll be satisfied. I hope we are. So, crafting. Um, I think it's set up separately. There we go. Griffin trousers. As you can see, I already found uh, during one of my other exploits between recordings, I already found the enhanced Griffin trousers. So we we'll, might as well move on to that one immediately, although the level requirement is too high. So we're first going to make the trousers. So there we have that. Then we have... We can't make the swords. So let's make the Griffin gauntlets. Not in need of anything yet. The body armor. We can make that immediately as well, so that's why I kept that shirt in my inventory all that time. So Griffin armor. There we go, and then we only need boots, and we can make that immediately as well, so my uh, scrounging around has paid off. There we go, a complete armor set. But first, let's sell a few of the armor pieces that we found, because we're going to need the cash. And there we go. So long. Let's see how this thing looks. So there we go, a complete set of Griffin armor. Um, I think it's better than the ones we had, although it doesn't look like it immediately. Well, better than most of the stuff. But the cool thing about Griffin armor is that it increases our sign intensity and since we're uh, a really sign based uh, build, we're gonna be able to use that a lot. So each piece increases it with 5% for an extra 20%. We also get a, a huge bonus uh, in elemental resistances from the trousers and a lot of resistances from the body armor as well. And it's medium, so we should still be able to move around quite a bit. So that's that. Now, for the swords. And the cool thing about Oxenford as well is that it has both an armorer and a blacksmith, allowing us to quickly go to the uh, blacksmith as well and get both our uh, needs in order. So the blacksmith is at the edge of the town. There we go. Ah, a customer. So, willing to craft something? Will you craft something for me? So, no uh, armor needed. And then the griffin sword, the griffin silver sword. You need a piece of leather scrap, so that won't be a problem. And then the griffin steel sword also needs the same thing, so we're gonna make two leather scraps, so I think I can make that in here. Leather scraps, there we go. Make that twice. And then make both the griffin silver sword. As the Griffin Steel Sword. There we go. Maybe selling some, some of my excess offer. weapons as well. So there we go. Now we have the Griffin Swords as well, which give us a nice bonus, as you can see. And then equip Farewell. everything. The Griffin Silver Sword adds a nice bonus to uh, sign intensity as well, same as the gear, and we get 20% more experience from monsters. 
So add that. And then the Steel Sword also improves our sign intensity and a little bit more experience from humans and non-humans. Um, I am going to add a rune to that sword. So I usually go with armor piercing for the Steel Sword. And something in the lines of burning for the Silver Sword. I don't know what I have yet. 5% of poison, maybe? Could be nice. To the silver sword. There we go. And there we have it. A complete griffin equipment set. Griff School of the Griffin uh, Witcher gear set. Uh, if you equip everything and you haven't got it yet, you get a, a trophy for your trouble. Namely the one for equipping an entire set of elite witcher gear. So, with that done, we will be ready to complete our quests in Novigrad. Uh, but before that, we're going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to like it. And don't forget, fellows, to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because I would really like you guys to do that. Um, and it helps out a lot. So thank you guys again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Goodbye.